Welcome Taurus, my name is Inez and I will be doing your monthly September love reading. And I also want you to please keep in mind that these readings are general and they cannot and will not resonate with all of you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then let it fly. If it applies, then please comment down below. I would love to read your comments. Also, I want to let you know that I'm running a free uh, phone reading for 15 minutes. And if you're interested and would like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at, intim at intimategoddess at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Well, let's get your reading started, Taurus. And now, I already pre-shuffled these cards off camera, but for the sake of it, um, I'll reshuffle re them again, because I know how some people are. Okay? So... Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Taurus in love for September 2019. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. See what's going on with okay. Please tell me more about so please tell me about choice in love for the month of September 2019. Please tell me about choice in love for September 2019. Please tell me about choice in love for September 2019. We got the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Please tell me. About Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. We got the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. If something came to an end, now, like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign because we have the Queen of Swords as an overall message. And the Queen of Swords, that could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. And it looks like here something came to an end here. Something had came to an end. And now things want to need to be balanced out. Let's get some more information. Please tell me about Taurus in for September. In love for 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. Please tell me about Taurus in love for September 2019. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Everything within divine timing. Divine timing here. We got divine timing at play right here. Please tell me more about... Okay. We got the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, and the uh, Eight of Wands. So this Knight of Pentacles is coming in. Slowly but surely, but he's coming in. And there's going to be communication because it's Knight of Pentacles. But so there's going to be communication. Traveling, email, text. Uh, traveling from one state to another, to another city, to another. Or, bas or basically just driving right up the street you don't have to leave the state or the city you could just be going drive 15 minutes away from your house but there's going to be some traveling here so what i see here something came to an end here and someone now wants to make things right with the six of pentacles they want things to be an equal give and take because this is like I say a wish fulfillment. 
Either wish fulfillment or could be healing. Actually, they might be trying to heal because we have the Ten of Swords. Because the Ten of Swords, it ended. There was an end. A cycle ended. The relationship ended. It came to an end. Okay, Taurus? Either, either or. Something could have ended. Either the cycle ended or the relationship ended. And now, and everything's going to happen within timing. Or within good timing. Everything's going to happen. And I'm really getting, and I'm really, and I really do believe you, you might be dealing with an Aquarius here. If you're not dealing with an Aquarius, that's fine. But being that we got the Queen of Swords as the overall message, and then we have the Star, which is Aquarius. So you might be dealing with this personality, an Aquarius. You might be, if you're not, that's fine. Oh, excuse me. I show you guys, can't be showing you all that now. Mm -mm. But anyways, <laughs> um, so this person's coming in, and he's coming in slow as hell. He's dragging his feet. It's like, it's like any day now, homie, any day. You know, I ain't got all day here. This person is coming in slow. Slowly but surely, he's coming in. Okay? Now, I want you to keep in, and this person is coming in, and he's going to be communicating with you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fast communication between the both of y'all. Now, I want you to keep in mind. I want you to keep this in mind. He might be coming in as a knight of pentacles, but this knight sooner or later turns into the king of pentacles. And that's what you want, the king of pentacles, because the king of pentacles, he is your CEO. He is your business owner. He is successful in his career. And when this king of pentacles, so this knight is coming in, he's coming in offering you something solid. Okay, solid. A stable relationship. Uh, uh, stable financial, being financially stable. This, so he's bringing you something. He's offering you something solid. Solid. Solid relationship. Um, this person is also loyal. The person is also loyal. He's in it for the long haul. He's not in it just for the time being. He's in it for the long haul. And like I said, this Knight of Pentacles, sooner or later, is going to turn into the King of Pentacles if he chooses to. If he chooses to. Okay, now, but things need to be balanced out here. Things need to be balanced. But let's clarify this before I go any further and keep running my mouth. Uh, let's clarify the star. Because your star is the situation that you're in. Please give me more information on the star. Please give me more information on the star. Oh, that was way too many cards. But should I take it? I think I might just go right ahead and take it. Hmm. I'll take it. Give me one moment here. to get this off my screen I know I'm sorry I gotta do what I gotta do just bear with me for a moment this is running slow Okay, there we go. It should be up there now. Okay, so that right there should do it. Okay. So the cards that came out, it was we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Clarifying the star. Two of Cups, 
Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So, if what I'm getting here is that this person had their heart broken, either by you or someone else, Taurus, either you could have hurt this person or this person was hurt by someone else in the past. Because we have the Three of Swords. I'm not seeing this Three of Swords as a three-party situation. I'm not. Because we also got the Two of Cups. So this is a soulmate connection here that you got here. You have going on. That we have going on. And then with the Three of Pentacles, this person is willing to work on this. They're willing to work on the relationship. Because there's love here. There's actual love here. So this person is willing to work on it. Put in, in time and invest. Because now they want to come in and they want to be cooperating with you. Now they want to cooperate, collaborate. You know, they want to be a team. There's no I in team. But this person has been hurt. And it looks like this person needed time to heal. Yeah. This person needed time to heal. With the Ten of Swords here. Something had came to the end. And like you got the Ten of Swords. You have all these swords. You know stabbing this man in the chest. That could really hurt. I don't know about you. But that would really hurt. And then you have the star here. Which the star also represents healing. It, it represents wish fulfillment. And healing. And is a sign. And is a card of the Aquarius. So. And with the Three of Swords here, this is already letting me know that this person needed to heal. This person needed to heal. Something that someone here needed to heal. And now they want to come in and work with you. They want to work things out. They want to work as a team. They want to put in the effort as well. You know, have make it a be make it a equal give and take. Have it a balanced relationship. Working together as a team you know that's what this person wants to do because this person loves you Taurus you guys love each other there's love here so if you don't want to admit it and that's on you but there's love here so this is what I'm seeing so far this person loves you they want to come in and but all of this is going to happen within divine timing all of this happens within divine timing Okay, bear with me for a moment. I'm trying to close this thing out. Come on now. And we're almost done. I'm sorry, Taurus. I know. Okay. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Please give me more information. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I let the cards jump out. I don't pull them. Please tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Please tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Please tell me, give me more information. Let's see. See, they want to reunite. We got the Three of Cups here. Three of Cups. They want to reunite. They want to reunite with you, Taurus. Or you want to reunite with them. But either way, both of you guys want to reunite. The way I'm looking at it, both of you guys want to reunite. Because this is, this is a, a soulmate connection. And someone did get hurt. Someone was hurt either by you or someone else in the past. They were hurt. They was hurt. And now, I guess, they wasn't able to move forward in the relationship. The type of relationship, the type of connection you guys had. That had came to an end. Because this person needed to heal. This person needed to heal first. So whatever cycle you have with this person, that cycle came to an end or the relationship came to an end. And now this person's coming in and they're coming in slowly but surely wanting to communicate with you. Wanting to communicate with you. Wanting to reunite with you. Wanting to make work things out, but you're wanting to make things an equal give and take, balance things out. That's what they want to do. Now, I want to 
clarify the eight of wands. I want to know what they're communicating, what they're telling you. Please give me more information on the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Please tell me why the eight of wands is here. Please tell me why the eight of wands is here. Please tell me what the eight of wands is here. The Queen of Cups. Love. Love, 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 love. Please tell me about more about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Please tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Please tell me about the Eight of Wands. Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. So actually, Taurus, you know what? You guys could be dealing with water signs or you could be dealing with the air sign. Because I'm seeing I'm seeing here cups. I got Cancer, Scorpio, or and of course you, Taurus. Your fellow Taurus. Because we have now we have we have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. This is what they're going to be communicating with you. That you make them happy. That they want to be with you. They want to offer you love. Because remember, the Queen of Cups, she offers love. She has, the Queen of Cups, she has lots of love. She has lots of love. She has self-love. And she has lots of love to give. And this person is coming in, communicating to you that they want to offer you love. They're offering you love. They're giving you love because... You are because you are wish fulfillment for them. You're emotionally fulfilling for them. And that's what they want to do. They want to offer you love with the Eight of Pentacles. This is what they're coming in telling you. And they are going to reunite with you because we have the Three of Cups clarifying the Six of Pentacles. So there's going to be a reunion here because this is a soulmate connection. Now this person is moving, in, moving slow as hell, but they're coming. Slowly but surely, they're coming. Slowly. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see the will of fortune. Let's clarify the will of fortune. Please give me more information on this will of fortune. Please give me more information on the will of fortune. We got the devil and the four cups. This person is fearing that you might reject them. We got the devil and the four cups clarifying the will of fortune. So they fear that you might reject them. They fear rejection. That's why this person needs to heal and they need to, you know, feel confident about themselves because they fear that you might reject them. That's probably the reason why they're taking so long. That's why their ass is probably taking so damn long to come in because they fear that you might reject them because of what took place in the past. Because they want to come in now. They want to work things out with you. They want to be with you. They want to reunite with you. They want to offer you love, but they fear that you might reject them. Because everything that happens within due time. Within timing. Everything happens within due time. But they're fearing that you might reject them when they when they do come to you. Okay. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. And then let's see. Well. It flew out. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning, brand new stable beginning, stability. This is stability. And remember, this Knight of Pentacles, he's coming in and he's offering you something stable. And you got this Queen of Swords and you have the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Swords. 
this is something stable here. What's coming to you is a brand new, you have opportunity for something brand new that's stable, that's solid. Okay? Taurus, so this could be either for you or it could be for the other person, for the cross watcher. But this is a great reading. This is a great reading. So this person is coming in. They're kind of scared that you might reject them. I mean, but what, what we can't say, we earth signs, right? I'm a Virgo, and you better be scared. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I'm not. Uh, but either way, they are coming in. They do love you. They do want to work things out with you, make things uh, equal give and take. They're kind of scared that you might reject them. But they're coming in slowly but surely. They're coming in, and they're coming in to offer you love. They're offering you love here. Um, and emotional fulfillment. That's what they're offering. Love and emotional fulfillment. They do want to be with you in the past. You know, the past is the past. Someone got, they got hurt by someone, you or somebody else, but that's the past. You know, you can't change your past. We need to move forward. And the forward is going to be both of you guys being together, showing love to each other, hand in hand. Now, let's get an oracle. A card for you for advice. I'm using the angel, what was it? Angel Power. Your advice here for Taurus. Please, what's Taurus advice? Please tell me Taurus advice. What is the card for Taurus advice? Please give me advice for Taurus for September. 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 And we have look up look forward welcome new developments for positive change beautiful look at that look up look forward welcome new developments for positive change perfect 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 it fits in with your reading new 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 okay so this is all i have for you taurus okay take care